I have started to point through Inspiration FM, your number one family radio. I bid you a warm welcome to the Tuesday edition of the Premier League Zone. My name is Anthony Ajilu. Dion Keshi and Bode Bruno are both here with me. And of course, we'll bring you the best from the English Premier League. It's a Tuesday. And you know, on a Tuesday, we have our team of the week. And it was a difficult task compiling this team of the week, it must be said, because there were only four matches uh, to pick from last weekend. But I did my best. I did my best. We were really need to you guys really really soon of course there's a match from the efl cup to look forward to today and a few other um things we might just you know trash along the way on the show today how are you guys doing this morning buddy how are you doing today very well thank you and how about you i'm good i'm good i'm yeah. feeling all right I dion how are you doing today right. <laughs> i'm sorry <fine>, thank you <laughs> i don't understand i don't understand the the um, glibness of people who's answer today. <laughs> you know, it's, it's all right. It's all right. Um, yes, like I said, there is a an AFL Cup match to look forward to today. Before we get into that, because uh, Arsenal against Sunderland, I don't think there's really much to say about that one. Let's get into that right now. We expect Arsenal to win tonight against Sunderland. Yes, we it's Premier League against win. League One. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, for all what uh, Sunderland are doing in League One, I do not think they have the quality, uh, even if. Uh, Mikel Arteta has to, you know, do some level of rotation. I do feel the Arsenal's, <laughs> the Arsenal, I, I do feel the Arsenal side uh, does have enough, you know, quality mm. within their ranks. And some of the French players as well would want to showcase to the manager what they're capable of doing. Arsenal are on a good run at the moment. And so, therefore, I expect them to actually uh, beat Sunderland later tonight. Mm. All right. All right. I expect Arsenal to win later tonight. Something I want to talk about. Um, the... Premier League, the clubs this time, not the Premier League itself. Now, the club this time, they had a meeting yesterday and they more or less agreed that there will be no pause to the league right now, that um, they're going to continue with all the fixtures as it presents itself. There'll be no, you know, blanket pause on everything. If there's a match that needs to be postponed, it will be postponed. If there's a match that needs to continue, to go ahead as, as planned. Good decision? Well, a uh, fair enough decision, actually, because even the clubs themselves wants the league to go ahead uh you know no one is really ready to to lose revenue mm. at the moment and um I, I guess you know the the fear from the amount of revenue that was lost in the earlier uh, uh season or the other times of COVID 19 have actually taught this club some lesson and mm. so therefore everyone is everyone else was, okay let's just take it a day-to-day management let's not just you know take a knee-jerk reaction let's monitor the situation and any club that has you know, enough players available to play, they can go ahead to play. And those that are suffering or those that have been massively hit uh, by the pandemic mm. can actually, you know, uh, see their game postponed uh, to some other date. So I, I think it's a, it's a wise decision at the end of the day. No one gets to, you know, suffer. <laughs> All right. Gideon, do you agree? Do you think it's a good, it's a good idea? I personally think it should have been, should have been put off for a week or two. But hey, you know. Um, yes, I, I think it should actually I agree with you. It should have been put off a bit because... Um, some clubs were benefiting from this or ordeal. Arsenal case in point. I mean, they were able to, you know what, um, climb up the log really. And it's not, it's, it's not, it's not even you looking had, like you had to drag it's, Arsenal. It's, not, it's not looking like an agenda per se. But I'm <laughs> thinking, I mean, Man City also. I mean, recorded their eighth consecutive win over the weekend. While other teams, um, case in point, Spurs finally played. Um, I mean, for the first time since the fifth of December, just a couple of days ago. So it would have just left a lot of the teams on a somewhat similar balance if the league was just you know just put on out temporarily at least give the worst hit clubs more time to to just basically put themselves in order and have a lot of their players that were out before start recovering better then eventually the league is open to everybody but when some teams are playing and others are not i mean Arsenal are in fine form now it really did not look like anything happened to them chelsea on the other hand have just been slipping yeah. down the leg so it's affecting some teams positively and negatively but then i mean if you just call it off cut the spread maybe but then i mean the teams know why they decided to yeah. go on so then I mean, I mean, I mean, exactly I, I was i was on saturday i was speaking to somebody outside when i came here on saturday and he was like all the postponements and everything you think they'll pause the league i was like even if they had plans to pause the league in the first place they will not pause it in this festive period <laughs> this christmas never period. like never it's not gonna happen Never. That's why I said. That's why I said it was a joint decision. It wasn't <laughs> like the Premier League just came out and said, "Okay, guys, we'll go. Ahead, we'll go ahead with the league." There was a vote, and you know the, the majority just said, "Okay, the vote at the end of the day." Mm. So uh, let's see how it goes. Yeah, let's see how it goes. We hope. We hope. We hope that they try and you know curtail the spread of this virus um, among the clubs, and uh, we just get to have good football at the end of the day. 
that's all we want um uh, anyway uh, we'll leave all of that and head over to the business of today which is our team of the week uh, like i've been saying it was hard four games but i did my best i did my best and of course you know we have our coach of the week and then our clown of the week as well so let's just get right into it um in goal i've gone for who's um, the Wolverhampton Wanderers goalkeeper it was excellent against Chelsea. The funny thing is, he didn't do as much as you'd expect playing a team like Chelsea. But that one save, he made a few saves. But the one that you know stood out for me was the one save he had against um, Christian Pulisic. Did you enjoy this video? Hit the subscribe button for more. Leave a comment and like. Thank you.